We all the way live, man. Brand new look. It's the Doja Told You Podcast, number 65. A lot to talk about today, so I guess I might as well get on to it. Um, shout out to all the new listeners. Uh, so I apologize for the uh, technical difficulties, but I was eating late, smoking late, and now we drinking late. You know what I'm saying? Trying not to get too drunk like we were Cinco de Mayo. How many of y'all got extra drunk because it was Cinco de Mayo? You know what I'm saying? By the show of hands, likes, or comments, or however you want to you know what I'm saying, let it be known. How was y'all doing during Cinco de Mayo? You know what I'm saying? And have I become an alcoholic since Cinco de Mayo? Maybe I have. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this is just alcoholism pouring out now on the on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's just what this is. Huh? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pour out all of my all of my heartaches. Now nah, I just had to go ahead and get warmed up. Been getting drunk since Cinco de Mayo, man. People been hitting me up on um, Cinco de Mayo like it was, like it was the Super Bowl. Or you, you would have thought, man, you thought fight night was something, but they was ready to get fucked up Cinco de Mayo, boy, and eat some tacos. If it was ever a time that them folks wanted to poison all the black folks, you know what I'm saying? You know, all they had to do was put whatever they wanted to put in the tacos. You know what I'm saying? On Cinco de Mayo, we we was definitely going. We was definitely going for it. <laughs> I was like, nah, I was like, nah, I'm straight on my, my tacos. I don't need no tacos today, bro. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man, I ain't knocking everybody. But y'all know that was uh, a lot of y'all was appropriating the Mexican culture. You know what I'm saying? Cinco de Mayo is not even Mexican Independence Day. Y'all was appropriating the culture and all, like, calling y'all selves Jose. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all had Spanish nicknames just for uh, Cinco de Mayo. And the Spanish people was taking notes. You know what I'm saying? They they was taking notes. All y'all that was out there saying that your name was going to be Pablo for Cinco de Mayo and your name was going to be Paco and... You was wearing your sombreros and your and, and your ponchos, you know. You was kikiing and, and and drinking tequila. So the Mexicans, they was taking notes. And they coming back for Juneteenth, drinking Hennessy, eating watermelon, and they y'all better not be mad. And they gonna call themselves Tyrone and they gonna call themselves, you know, uh <laughs> Jamal. They gonna call themselves Keisha. Y'all better be ready. <laughs> Y'all bet not say nothing. Nobody bet not complain. I bet not hear nobody crying. Talking about the Mexicans is appropriating our culture. You know what I'm saying? Let them drink their Hennessy. You know, they say they're going to fry up chicken and drink Hennessy on, on, on Juneteenth on y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? See how y'all like it. <laughs> Oh shoot! See how y'all like it, man. Let me hear from somebody on Facebook, man. Who watching us on Facebook? If ever you need to watch any of our shows, you can watch it on Facebook, Twitch, and listen to us on the Mixler app. But you can also listen to us and watch us on the YouTube channel. You know, so check out all the old shows. We uh, launch them on Mondays. So if ever you miss a show. Go to the YouTube, man. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we appreciate all the support. Um, hit us up on the Cash App. D-O-Z-H-A-T-O-L-D-Y-A-R-A-D-I-O. Hit us up with whatever um, whatever you got, bro. Shit. We take it all. You know what I'm saying? Pause. We don't take it all. <laughs> Pause. Scratch that. Scratch that. But you guys can like, uh, subscribe, you know, subscribe to all the channels, IG, Facebook, Doja Told You on all platforms, Doja Told You Radio on Mixler app. All right. So, yeah, man, appreciate all the support. Uh, again, I've been I've been posting my cash out like a motherfucker, bro. Lately, I've just been like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? 
I seen a couple of couple of memes going around and someone um said something about if you post your cash app, you know what I'm saying, as good as big. And I'm like, man, shut y'all old ass up, man. Old ass hating ass niggas. Let these niggas get their money, man. Let these women get their money. If they posting their cash out for their birthday and they and and they get, you know, an extra thousand dollars from their cash out, then so be it, man. Stop hating on folks, you know what I'm saying? This is a new way, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, if, if it is the new way of, of jingling your cup, shit. The mother, it's a lot of motherfuckers out there jingling their cup too, and people be giving them a dollar or whatever. So shit, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you give it to somebody that you know? Nah, because the problem is y'all have a problem with giving people that you know money. Just admit it. You got a problem with paying people that you know, so you always try to find a complete stranger, a desperate stranger at that, to give your money to. But if the person ain't so dangerous, I mean desperate, and they, you know, worthy of getting the money, shit, fuck with them. Give them a, give them a little support. Give them a shout out. You don't know, You don't have to only give monetary support you can offer a service that you do for free you know so yeah man um get it together man y'all like stop 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 dwelling on the, the days of the past it's a new age now folks are on instagram i think a lot of artists are kind of lost right now in the way we used to do things and you need to catch up on the way that we're doing things now. All right? Because, it, you, like I said, it, it, it's just different these days, man. Um, and you're either going to catch up or you're going to fall behind, man. And, I, you know, as long as y'all fucking with me, y'all going to be right on time.